What's going on guys? Before I start this video, I just want to give a little, a little a dishonorable mention to these glasses. I was about almost halfway through the video of me making this before I realized I was wearing my tiger glasses. Thank you very much, you freaking jer jerk. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, sorry about that. I, I got my, you know, good glasses on. So let's jump into this. So, uh, this was requested by Galaxin Rax, and this is going to be my top 10 Hulk designs. I'm not going to be talking about uh, characters really a lot, or I'm not going to be really talking about, um, you know, going in details about the characters. I'm just talking about the overall design and the look of each of these Hulks. Now, I already knew what this question really was asking me. It was probably asking me like what designs from like the movies. But so I decided to take that and kind of um, mesh them together into uh, you know overall, just overall like the uh, you know a Hulk design in general uh, from the movies and from the comics. So here you go, guys. Here are my top ten Hulk designs. Let's get into this. So, my number 10 is Joe Fixit. Now, this one is a really more civil one. Uh, this one, he wears a suit and a tie. He's got a little, you know, top hat. Um, this design, and he's, I believe he's also like a gray Hulk. Uh, because if you remember, the original Hulk was was a gray, but then they went with green because of uh, the printing was not right and all that stuff. So, they went with green for the original Hulk. Uh, I'm guessing the gray they did for Joe Fixit because, you know, it was a different color and because obviously, you know, you want to show like a different type of Hulk, uh, more civil Hulk, a more intelligent Hulk, and uh, a mobster Hulk, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, I really do like that design. It's, it's very civil and basic, uh, and it just looks different than the other Hulks. All right, so let's move on to my number nine, which is Red Hulk. Red Hulk is, he's red. <laughs> That's it. That's the only reason why I, I, I put this on my number nine. Uh, and you guys would probably honestly expect, if you know me, that my favorite color is red. So uh, I bet you're asking like, oh, why would you put that in your number nine? Because obviously, you know, I wanted to, I don't know, because honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the, you know, Red Hulk. Uh, the general and all that being Red Hulk, but um, I do like his design. I like the fact that he's red. He's got like this this fire effect, I guess, if he gets really angry, uh, which is a little different than Hulk, the regular regular Hulk, for example. Uh, so they obviously put a lot of they wanted to differentiate this one from the original Hulk by giving him like this fire effect, raging fire effect, which is really cool when he gets angry. It looks really good when they put it on screen or when they put it in the comics. Whatever, it looks great. All right, so let's move on to my number eight, which is Abomination. Uh, now, it's not the Abomination from the comics. This is the Abomination from the Incredible Hulk movie. Uh, and this movie, I really like this design. I actually like it a lot, a lot better than the comics version, like a fish-looking Abomination. I never, I was never afraid of, like, a fish man, you know? I was always afraid of, like, you know, this very gross, very intimidating, huge, buff, just scary thing. And that's what I think Abomination kind of represents uh, in the movie, it, and obviously in the comics too. He's got like those spikes on his back. Uh, the spikes on the back make it look even better. He's got the spikes on the arms, which makes him look even more menacing, which they use in the movie, which looks great. Uh, I just, I like the look a lot better than the original comics. And I was really hoping that we would get to see him in Avengers 2 because a lot of people keep saying that he was going to be in Avengers 2. He never was. And that would have been really, really cool. Right, so let's move on to my number six. Or, or oops, I'm sorry. My number seven is the red She-Hulk design. 
So this is a more feminine uh, Hulk design. Uh, obviously, this is um, Betty, if you know from the comics. Uh, it's Again, she's just a feminine Hulk, but like a red. Um, not a whole lot to say here, I mean, other than the fact I like the look, I like the design, I like the fact uh, that... Fuck it. It's a female. You, you know why I put her on this list. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, you, which means you already know what number six is going to be. Which is She-Hulk. Now, I do have a lot to say here for She-Hulk. Because I actually do know She-Hulk a little bit more, honestly, than the red She-Hulk. So, She-Hulk, she... And I, I probably will say a lot here because of the fact that she died in the Civil War II comics. So I will say a little bit, say a little bit here that I really hope they bring her back because she was probably one of the best, like female superheroes in the Marvel comics, which is really, which is why it's really disappointing that they killed her off in the comics. I understand that you have to have casualties, but does it have to be like? that main of a character i honestly don't even remember any main characters that died in the original civil war uh she hulk uh you know i like her i really like her design um you know she's she's uh she's got like this greenish white white and purple look um she i like that the fact that she's like a lawyer and stuff um again i really am upset about the fact that she she was killed off in the comics um, because she was, like, probably the most badass female superhero in Marvel, which is why it's really a shame that they killed her off. But anyway, move, moving on. Number five, which is the Grey Hulk. Um, and this is from the original comics. Uh, this, w obviously I put it here because this is what it was originally supposed to be. It was originally supposed to be uh, gray. He was supposed to, Hulk was supposed to be gray. So, obviously, so honestly, that's it. I, I mean, the design, honestly, it's not as good as the green, if you want me to be straight up honest with you. I actually do like the green a lot more, because it just, the green kind of stands out, uh, whereas the gray, it's kind of, it's kind of Frankenstein-ish, which is what they were going for when they originally designed him. Um, but I always was a fan more of the green. So my number four is the Lou Ferrigno Hulk. So this is from the Incredible Hulk uh, TV show. And this was more of a realistic looking Hulk. So basically, when they were making the show, they wanted to do this more realistic look and tone. So they had this big buff huge dude and they colored him green. Uh, and he had wacky hair and all that stuff. And uh, it looked good. I actually really remember growing up and I liked that type of Hulk, that more realistic looking Hulk. Um, honestly, uh, I never, I mean, I do prefer the comic version of Hulk, um, but I, I do have a soft spot for the Lou Ferrigno, uh, Hulk, uh, but anyway. To my number three, and this is when we get into more of the movie territory and the comic booky territory. Uh, so my number three is Hulk, the the one Mark Ruffalo's version of Hulk. So yeah, Mark Ruffalo, huh? Yeah. Okay. So I really do like this Hulk design. Um, obviously, not as much as the as the next two I'm about to list, but I really do like this 
I, I will admit that it's not as realistic looking as a lot of the other ones I will put, as you know that I will put on this list but um, I do like this design that honestly that that's all I can say there's not a lot I can say when it comes to design um, it's it's your basic Hulk design I mean there's not a lot you can really put in there I mean he's got facial hair I think later in the movies he's got like a little bit of a beard going but um, which is different because I've never really seen a Hulk with a beard-ish, honestly, except, like, Mephisto, whatever his name is, like, the future Hulk or whatever. To my number two is Hulk, the 2003. So let me, I, I watched it recently just to kind of look at the design again. Honestly, the movie, oh, it's just, oh, it's, it's not a good movie, but the actual like Hulk design and the actual like facial animation and the way his body moves and, tw and the muscles twitch and all that stuff, that's what makes this probably the best. One of the best. And he's got the purple pants. He's got the comic book accurate purple pants. Like, I mean, that's all this movie had going for it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, but um, I do appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that they put in that effort. Make him look realistic and to make him look, you know, like he's actually there. Like, like not a lot of, not a lot of, like, you don't really see that a lot. You don't really see like a lot of people putting in the time and effort to work on those facial animations, work on the muscles, the way they move. That's why, you know, uh, I really do, I do respect like them for designing the Hulk as best as they put their best into a 2003 movie, which is not bad, especially with the animation back then. So uh, kudos to those guys. All right. So my number one. All right, so my number one is the Incredible Hulk design from the 2008 movie. Now, look, here's the thing. I really wish they stuck with this design. I really do because it's probably it's probably my favorite design of Hulk, actually. I just, it looks so good. Like when I see it on screen, when I see him on screen, I almost don't even see like you know, any fakeness to it. Like, I actually am looking at the screen and I actually can believe that he's on the screen right now, that Hulk's on the screen. It looks so realistic. The The way they pay attention to cuts and bruises, the way they pay attention to the way his muscles move and they twitch, the way they put so much emphasis on the facial animation of him, the way that they put so much time and effort and care into the design, to, of course, to the references and all that, of course. But they really, really hit it home here. I just really wish they stuck with the design of this. The scr the skin is darker. I like the I like the darker skin and actually kind of I don't know. It actually makes it a little bit more realistic, honestly, with the darker green skin. So I just I really wish they stuck with this because it really looks good and it is by far my favorite hulk design so anyway guys let me know what your guys's favorite hulk designs are i know a lot of you already said it but you can go ahead and say it again in the comment section below if you haven't already and uh, until then guys i'm out of here up up and away see you guys